Hi, so you bought an audio interface, installed all drivers, did everything, and it's not working, your computer's not recognizing it, maybe your computer is recognizing it, but Pro Tools or whatever DAW you have isn't. One of the reasons I'm creating this video, that's one of the questions I get all the time. How do I set it up? What do I need to do? And hopefully I'm gonna try to answer all those questions, and in the future, when somebody asks those questions, I'll just point them to this video. So just like any other software, you want to make sure your computer is compatible and you're able to run your software. And how you find out that information, you go to the manufacturer's website. So I'm over at Avid's website. Don't worry, it's going to be in the description. So we're currently looking at Pro Tools 12. If you have anything older than Pro Tools 12, then find the documents for your version. If you have another DAW, find the documentation for your DAW. If you scroll down, you're going to find a lot of information that I suggest you should go through. Something you should definitely pay attention to is the minimum system requirements. You want to make sure you have the requirements here, nothing under, or more. So you have Mac and Windows. If we scroll down, you're going to see supported Apple computers. Press this drop down windows. It's going to give you a lot of information on that specific computer. If we scroll down, it's going to tell you supported operating systems, supported hardware. Now, I'm not going to go through all of this, but I just wanted to show you guys. And over here, we have supported Windows computers. Same thing. Click the drop down window. It's going to give you information. Now, why is this important? I know what it's like to have a computer that's not supported by Pro Tools. And it's not always going to fall on how much memory or how much CPU you have. I've had a computer that had enough memory, enough CPU, but it had a problem with the chipset. And there was a problem with USB and PCI slots on that specific machine. So I couldn't run Pro Tools at the time with that specific hardware. And I remember going to DigiDesign's website. That was before Avid purchased uh, Pro Tools. It was called DigiDesign, and they had documentations on that specific chipset. I don't want to drag this video too long, so let's move on. So now that we checked, we know the computer is completely compatible, no issues whatsoever, and I'm going to show you how I like to install the software. There really isn't a way to do this, but I just do it this way, and it always works for me. I never hook up the audio interface first. I always install the driver first. Now, when you buy your audio interface, you want to make sure you never use the CD that it came with. Reason is extremely old. There might be new drivers, new software for your interface at the manufacturer's website. You're only going to use that CD if you don't have internet. Then once you download your driver, unzip it, whatever program you use, it doesn't matter, install it. If it asks you to connect the audio interface, you do it. If it doesn't, let the process go through. Once it finishes, shut down your computer. It's extremely important, especially with FireWire devices. You never want to plug in a FireWire device or do any hot swaps while the computer's on. You might run into some serious issues. Worst case scenario, you fry the FireWire chip on your audio interface. You definitely don't want that. So shut the computer down, hook up everything, hook up your audio interface. If the audio interface requires power, turn it on, then turn on your computer. Let Windows install the drivers and hopefully everything should be okay. So in the middle of editing this video, I realized I left out a pretty important step. So let's say you were successful. Let's say you got to install all your drivers. Everything works. Pro Tools sees your interface, but then you decide to change a sample rate and you can't. One of the things that happens within Windows, and it's a problem that always occurs, Windows automatically defaults to that new device. And that's a pain in the rear. So how do you solve that? You can go right here, right click speakers, go to sounds. Make sure you're at the playback tab, locate your device, highlight it, and select default. Just remember if your interface is your default device, your computer is actually controlling your interface. So when you open Pro Tools, some things you might not be able to change. Last thing I want to speak about, you want to make sure you select the right interface. So I have multiple interfaces. I have the built-in stuff that comes with your motherboard, which I never use. Then I have the Fast Track C600, which is my main audio interface for playback. Then I have my M Audio's Firewire ASIO, so I can switch between these two. But for the most part, the Fast Track is my default audio interface. Now I want to show you something. Just because the Fast Track C600 is my main device, doesn't mean I can't use my Firewire device. So I'm using the Project Mix, and I'm using it just for the faders. So if we go to Setup, Peripherals, MIDI controllers, type Huey, receive from, Project Mix Control Surface MIDI, send to, Project Mix Control Surface MIDI, channel 8. I have 8 faders. So it's extremely important that you select the proper audio interface. And you shouldn't really have a problem. Some of you guys probably found this video boring, as I said earlier. A lot of people ask me these questions over and over and over, and I want to help everybody. But it kind of sucks to type all this information every single time, so I decided to make the video. Another thing, I know this video is focused around 
Windows, but you can still follow along if you're using a Mac. Of course, there's certain things you can do, but for the most part, if you follow along, you really shouldn't have any issues. So if this is the first time watching one of my videos, subscribe to the channel, hit the thumbs up, check the description, press the bell for future notifications. This is Ray, and I'm out of here. Later, guys.